Hi guys, today let's try to engrave on a cylindrical object, something like this. Actually, I've done a test already for this glass cup. I tried some BT21 characters. It's a BTS characters, but I will show you how I do it. But this one is still not so good, so let's try to improve. But so far, quite okay. So let's try to engrave on this part. What we need in engraving cylindrical object is this R2 uh, Y-axis roller. It's also uh, from R2, which I bought together with the, uh, my desktop laser engraver. How we set it up, I will show you. So guys, uh, before we proceed, please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification bell button so you will be notified for our next video upload regarding laser engraving or any other new tech and gadgets uh, videos that we will find later on. But guys, I need your support for our YouTube channel as well. I will also include on the description below the purchase link for this uh, Arthur Y-axis rotary roller and our Arthur Laser Master 2 desktop engraver. Thank you. Okay, I've already opened the GRBL software. Let's import in our image. So let's do smooth. Okay, vectorize. So we have some options here. Line to line tracing, dithering, vectorize, center line, and pass through. So let's uh, use vectorize, which will uh, create an outline of the image. And then next. So for glass, there's no preset setting. I'll use the maximum power of the laser. So let's do. So I'll use the border speed. I'll put the value 50. So that will be the speed. I think it's too slow. Let's try 100. Then maximum power. I 30 okay let's create okay okay let's connect our laser i've already plugged in and power on once you power on it will go to the home base so let's uh, connect the laser by clicking this one connect button so it's already connected let's just try it if it's working by clicking this uh, arrow buttons here okay click and yes it's working so once I click this button the laser also move the laser head okay seems okay I click the home button so it will go to the home position so now we don't uh, connect our rotary roller yet i don't know if there's another setting for this one but for now i'm i don't connect yet and bring the laser head to its position by clicking on the center of the image so the laser head moved to that position so that is where I'll set up the rotary roller so now this one is in the position right I will disconnect this uh, power to the y-axis motor okay I'll disconnect this one and then connect with the y-axis uh, power cable this way so now it's the rotary roller motor is enabled so let's uh, position now you see this roller here okay this one can adjust the height basically this is to make sure that this uh, part in a correct level in a flat position basically we should uh, use a leveler but for now I have my own strategy so 
it comes with this adjusting nuts let's adjust because this uh, part is too high so we should lower it down sorry I just adjusted this one the roller yes uh, it's facing the wrong way just now so I cannot uh, bring it down because it's uh, going to hit this part here so actually I think this is the correct uh, position this other part of the glass is uh, leaning on this part so we only need this roller here if our cylindrical object is tapered something like this but for a cylindrical object which is straight means this diameter equal to this diameter we don't need this uh, roller so we can take it out then we just uh, position this object flat that way okay. so this one let's position it here so now what I basically do is uh, to align it in here I'm sure this one is a correct level uh, plus or minus so I'll just have to see if it's uh, leveled correctly by aligning it to this uh, level here so basically this is my uh, reference line and then this one so align horizontally here then align also the level to here to the face of the glass here so I don't need an, any leveler so if you cannot do it this way then you can buy a smaller leveler something like this then of course uh, make sure it's uh, this one is centered to the topmost of this uh, curvature here so just carefully align it so I'll enable the laser beam okay you can see it's roughly I think somewhere there and then let's check the frame you see the roller now is working let's check the frame again it okay, looks good for that I think we need to put the scotch tape for this uh, item let's try to use the wall sticker it's very important to get the correct uh, distance from the laser head to the object the effective uh, distance of the laser beam then let's proceed to engrave okay, it's done engraving let's try to take out the sticker and let's see the result I'm trying to take out the sticker I think I need to wash it off okay guys here is the outcome I think there's a problem for objects with this kind because the top part here is bigger than the bottom so once it twists it's not actually twisting balancedly so there's a tendency that it moves so I think if it's cylindrical object at least it's a straight uh, line like this so that's why you see what happened also same thing happened to the BTS word here it's supposed to be straight but the S moved up and then this bottom here also so I think we cannot do on object something like this so I think the solution if we do like this is we need to cover this part here to at least make it equal to this uh, so from here to make it straight to here so when it roll it's still rolling equally so let's find solution for that one but uh, so far using the wall sticker I think the line is better so let's try a cylindrical object tapered but straight okay let's try this uh, tapered cylindrical object but the it's a straight one let's see if there's any problem you see it burned very well so let's try to take out the sticker we need to wash the sticker really burned then it stick as well to the object so we need to wash with soap 
Okay guys, here's the result. The result quite good, but I don't know why the bottom here didn't uh, engrave correctly. Only this part here. Okay, but so far it's okay. Nice. So I put something inside so we can see clearly. Okay, those are the thing, the things I've done for glass cylindrical object. So by the help of our Y-axis rotary roller, so we can engrave on the cylindrical objects. Oh, that's the result.